Greetings, family. I bring you greetings from Mount Welcome Missionary Baptist Church. And it is wonderful to be here on this Good Friday for our Lenten devotional as we move through this Holy Week, uh, walking with Jesus and truly understanding who Jesus is. But throughout this Lenten season, we have been talking and speaking about um, who Jesus is and um, using the Holy Word to help us move through uh, this period of sacrifice and of focus. Today I want to lift up the, a scripture and it is from Luke the 23rd chapter the first five verses. And then the assembly arose as a body and brought Jesus before Pilate. They began to accuse him saying we found this man perverting our nation, forbidding us to pay taxes to the emperor, and saying that he himself is the Messiah, the king. Then Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? He answered, You say so. Then Pilate said to the chief priests and the crowd, I find no bias or basis for, an, for the accusations against this man. But they were insistent and said, He stirs up people by teaching them throughout all of Judea, from, Gal from Galilee where he began even to this place. The word of God for the people of God. Uh, have, you ever, have you ever been accused of doing something and you knew your accuser was uh, being intentional about it have you ever been uh, helping uh, others and you were accused of doing the opposite this uh, can be very frustrating uh, and it can rock you to your very core well, I, I want to tag this text, if I may, for this devotional, uh, you say so, you say so. When I was just a young lad, around 10 years old, uh, me and some friends on a hot summer day were playing uh, by my elementary school, and uh, we noticed that some young people were vandalizing, picking up rocks and throwing them through the windows of the school. Uh, being the good Samaritans that we were, we ran to the first adult we saw, and we told them to call the police. Somebody is breaking the windows out of the school. Uh, we looked and, and to our surprise, to our surprise, the police came and, and we were accused of doing the very act that we had reported because our skin was a little bit darker. Well, in this text for today, Jesus stands accused of, of, um, of four accusations are being tossed at him. Uh, Jesus is being accused of perverting the nation, opposition or, or, or opposition to Caesar, uh, Caesar and opposing uh, the people paying taxes, claiming to be the king of the Jews or the Messiah, and uh, stirring up the masses from Galilee to Jerusalem. Pilate, the governor of Judea, asked Jesus a simple question. He, he asked the accused, is this true that what they're saying about you? And Jesus responds very simply, you say so. In, in modern speak, I, I can imagine Jesus would be saying, let you tell it. Yes, I am doing all of these things. Jesus is saying without saying it, my actions speak louder than my words and and if you can find it uh, then maybe i am doing those things but really uh, i'm just being falsely accused jesus shows us how to deal with haters when they come at you with false accusations uh, jesus helps us understand how to put haters 
in their place. He reminds us not to fuss with fools and or to fan the flames of gaslighting. You, you know, gaslighting when when folk uh, essentially essentially try to make you feel less than you are, spread rumors about you. As an African-American, we have often, often been the subject of false narratives. George Floyd and, and Breonna Taylor are examples of the system painting incorrect pictures about us as we watch this case on the news of, of Derek Chauvin that George Floyd is having a false narrative painted about him. Jesus was a brother caught up in the Judean and Roman so-called justice system uh, under false charges. Let, let, let them tell it uh, he he says we 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 are all guilty of some high crime or misdemeanor, even when we are trying to help the masses. That that's what they say about us. Uh, but we have to understand that the haters are always going to come and say stuff about you. He teaches us uh, that he teaches us we will what to do when we find ourselves in these situations. Regardless of what they say, there are some things that we should do. If you haven't picked up what Jesus is dropping in this text, let me help you. He, he reminds us to do three simple things. One, he reminds us to stay calm when the haters come calling. And they accuse you of false things. In the midst of the hell storms around you, Jesus ha ha reminds us that our betrayers can't win against us. Jesus has been betrayed by one of his own, denied by, the, uh, denied by one and deserted by the others. The church officials are out to get him and trying to take him out. But yet Jesus keeps his cool. Uh, stay calm. Then Jesus reminds us to ignore the lies. Ignore the lies told about you. Uh, Jesus found himself in the light on den, uh, surrounded by hungry haters. Yet, yet he didn't try to correct them. Uh, he simply, simply, uh, he simply ignored what they were saying. He, 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 he ignored it by saying, you say so. Let you tell it. Uh, he didn't try to explain himself. He didn't try to argue with folk. He he just ignored the lies. Then he 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 teaches us to focus on the promise God has for you. Uh, Jesus looked to the promise God had for him, even in the midst of the opposition around him. Uh, he knew no weapon of, formed against him could prosper and all things work for the good of those who love uh, God. Uh, th th those are the three things. So as you move through this Lenten season into your own personal resurrection Sunday, your own personal resurrection moment, remember on this Christian journey that we must uh, venture into our own Jerusalem. And when we do, the haters will come knocking. They're waiting for you. They they are waiting to lie on you, and 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 they have weapons of mass distraction, trying to take you off the course that God has for you. And when they come to crucify you, stay calm, ignore the lies, and focus on the promise of the resurrection God has made to you. And, and, and I know somebody is thinking, well, what happened when you were 10 on, on that day? And, and, and in my 10 years, I'm reminded, I, 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 I understand that God has not forgotten me. And, and in that, that moment, I stayed calm. I, I ignored the lie. And I believed that all would be well because that's what my mother taught me. And so uh, remember, remember this, just when the haters start lying on you, all you need to say is 
you say so. Let us go to God in prayer. Most gracious and merciful God, thank you for being with us in the face of our trials and our tribulations uh, of this world. On this Good Friday, help me and help us to see clearly the sacrifices of your son, Jesus, and, imbi and help us to embody his spirit. Move in me so that I might move in others, assisting in the building of your kingdom and the destruction of Satan's empire. Amen and Ashe. God bless. God keep you.